verdict for shitty when, just now, Judge is on the way back. She just ordered lunch. She's getting it to go. She'll be here in a few minutes. Man, I think my lawyer's in the can. I said to tell you she'd be right in. She's down the hall with the opposition. What's she doing with him? Hey, hey. What do you think? I think the jury's back. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, Ben, Ben, what do you mean, stay put? I'm not on bail. I can do anything I want. Judge doesn't want anybody wandering off, especially you. What do you know? Nothing. Come on. I know they're done. That's it. Out of my hands. Relax. Relax. You could make a run for it. How do you keep your job? <laughs> They're back? That's what they say. That's good, right? I mean, we just finished. They didn't even get lunch. The first hours belong to the defense, right? You hear that all the time. If they think there's no proof. Not them slow down. Sit. Am I wrong? You're not wrong generally. It's not always the case. Hey, hey, I know you gotta be all cautious. Don't go jinxing it. You made a great argument. We had circles around that guy. That jury knows I told the truth. They're gonna find me guilty in what? Two hours and change? No way. They put on a plausible case. I didn't think it was enough to convict. Look, we have to talk. Sackett made an offer. Offer? If you want to plead out to a lesser charge. That's what you were... Can he do that? Now? It's unusual. Prosecutors have a lot of discretion. If you plead guilty to manslaughter, he'll recommend five to seven years. You could end up doing less with good behavior. Huh. You got him on the run. Mr. Sack of shit does not want to lose. I mean, I, I, come on, this is great. Malcolm. What's your problem? I don't have a problem. My job is to make sure you understand your options. Make an informed choice. You know, if they come in with second degree murder, you're looking at 20 years. Got it. Or I could be home free. It's, it's worth considering. It's only open until court resumes. You're kidding, he's trying to squeeze me. Is that, is that even legal? I tried to get some time. <coughs> Recess for a few hours, he's being a prick. It doesn't matter, I'm not taking Look, this is- This ever happened to you before? No. Exactly. Know what I think? That bailiff, Ben, he knows something. Oh. Saw something with the jury and told Sackett about it. That's what I think. One of those little big shots. Trust me. I got a sixth sense for this kind of stuff. Malcolm, juries are isolated. Bailiffs take an oath as an officer of the You're court. You're saying I should take this? You worried about your record here? I want you to think about it. Take a deep breath and listen. We're wasting time speculating. I know you're innocent. That's what you were gonna say? Just listen for a moment, will you? There's another way of looking at this that you need to hear. When you decided to testify- There we go. Now who's wasting time? It was my decision whether you liked it or not. And I honored that and you told your story. My story? I told the truth. The point is, we had plenty to talk about in final argument before you took the stand. The case was circumstantial. There were no witnesses. We could deal with the prior separation, your temper, the fights, that being human is not a crime. There was room for reasonable doubt. Sam, no. I told. No, Sam. This is Samantha, who you are paying dearly for my best efforts and advice. That bad. You did fine on direct. 
You were a mess on cross. Made about every mistake in the book. What was I supposed to say? We talked about. Keep it simple. Listen to the question. Answer directly. Don't play games. Just wait till the next ground ball and throw it to first. Don't make it complicated. You took the bait, Malcolm. Dodged questions, interrupted, quibbled, got mad. They didn't like you. And that can affect how they view the evidence. And you just sat there and let it happen. Never even objected. It would have made a point. You think I did it. It doesn't matter what I think. I never asked you if you did. The only thing that matters now is that the jury may have come, come away convinced you did. This is such bullshit. She lost her balance and fell. I don't get up there and deny it. They're going to think I, I pushed her down the stairs, just like in the, every B movie they ever saw. Only it's the basement stairs instead of some grand staircase. I mean, everybody's suspicious these days. Nobody believes anything anymore. I had to tell them what happened. I think so. It's, it's a generous offer, Malcolm. That's all I'm saying. It's your fault. You're damn right. Jesus. <coughs> Judge is ready. Court reconvenes in five. Time to face the music. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Here's the thing, you want me to throw in the towel. Two hours, Sam, I might have won. Deputy Patrol, can you do something for me? What? Find out what that bailiff knows. If no, you know no. something, said anything to sack it, I gotta be sure. Do your job, Samantha. All right, I'll talk to him. While I do that, you, you need to see what's there to be seen, Malcolm. Not just what you want to see. <laughs> well, you were right, Malcolm. The jury foreman was been and met him at the door to say they had a verdict. He had heard laughter inside the jury room. When he talked to Sackett, he said he might have mentioned they were back there yucking it up. Obviously, the jury wasn't feeling any weight. This is good, Malcolm. <coughs> Juries are usually pretty solid. Oh, Let it be. Take the deal. No, Malcolm, I get him. I think you're right. Sack it hey. Take the 
the deal.